Welcome to Audio Radar Support. In this video, I'm going to be guiding you through using the Audio Radar with a DisplayPort. For this tutorial, Audio Radar is not connected to a monitor. The Audio Radar is connected directly to your computer, along with your monitor, so pass through is not being used, so there is no need to output to the monitor. So, first of all, navigate to your system settings, then to display. If you have connected to the audio radar correctly, then you will see an extra monitor, which is the audio radar. So to make sure you know which monitor is which, scroll down and you will find the advanced display. Here this will tell you which monitor is which. Once you have found out which monitor is which, head back to the display in the settings panel. On the visual display of the monitors, you'll see a drop down that says, extend these displays. Click on the drop down and select duplicate these displays. Just to note, if you have more than one display, it will give you a choice of which display you wish to duplicate. Just make sure that you are duplicating to your main display. Now the main monitor one is duplicated with the audio radar two. Check that the main gaming monitor is set to the desired refresh rate. Setting up the monitors is now complete. That will configure audio settings and voice meter settings. First of all, open system settings. And then select sound. Scroll down and select more sound settings. Under playback devices, Select Audio Reader. In the lower left corner, select Configure. Select 7.1 Surround. Select Test. You should see Audio Radar light bars reacting to each channel Test Audio. Press Next until complete. left-click sound output in the lower right corner of your screen. Select voice meter, aux input, as your sound output device. Open sound settings and choose voice meter, aux input. Repeat steps to configure voice meter, aux input to 7.1 surround. Open voice meter. Configure A1 to WDM audio radar. Configure A2 to your desired speaker or headset. In this example, a Logitech headset. You can even configure A3 to another headset or speaker. Ensure you are seeing the correct hardware out settings. Ensure A1, A2 and A3 are selected and highlighted. Set A1 to normal mode this sets A1 to 7.1 surround. Set A2 to mix down A. This sets A2 to a 2.1 stereo. Set A3 to mix down A. This sets A3 to 2.1 stereo. Experiment with adjusting the levels of A1. This will boost footsteps and other sounds in the game. Thank you for watching this video.